Welcome back to the YouTube channel. It's your boy, Mr. Gada, baby, once again. And I'm back again with another episode. And I'm here to talk about what is happening in Guangzhou, China. Yesterday, I said that is going to be my last episode. But so many of you have been sending me emails. So many of you have been DM me, calling me a coward, telling me that why am i scared to talk about this issue i'm not scared about addressing issues that is happening to africans this is not the first time addressing such issues i've been doing that way back when i was in china i mean this is not the first time africans have been disrespected but we keep on talking talking every single day but nothing is done that is why I decided to stay away from this content, start the Africa to the world, for of which I know that I'm doing something which is benefiting so many people, seeing the beauty of Africa, because what I started in Africa, no one was doing it. That was my initiative to show the positive image of Africa to the world. I'm that guy who loves actions. I don't like talking and then nothing is happening. Africans have been discriminated for so long in China. It's not the first time. But ask yourself, how long are we going to go through all this? How long? What is the way forward? That is what am I? I want solutions. I don't want the situation that I'll keep on talking about. Oh, Chinese people hate me and nothing is done wake up africans enough of the talking it's about deeds not words what are we doing i mean let me ask you a question what are you doing to help change the narrative of africa people have been looking down upon africa for so long like kwame nkrumah said africa is not poor but africans are poor you know why because they store what we have but how long are we going to sit down with all these natural resources that we have? These people disrespect us in their countries. And whenever we, they are also in our own countries, they disrespect us. Unite as one. Do away with colonial mentality. And help develop this continent. It feels so sad to see Africans being discriminated. And people in power in Africa are quiet. It's not the first time Africans being discriminated in China. I mean, if you are living in China, you can testify what I'm saying. Two years ago, they portrayed black people as animals in museum in Wuhan. Three years ago, there was a Chinese detergent where they put a black man inside a washing machine and he came out as a what? As a Chinese man. During Chinese New Year two years ago, a Chinese woman painted her face black to represent black women of the entire world. Not long ago, we saw a video where a Chinese man was telling African kids to say that I'm a monster and I have a low IQ. This is happening in Africa and our leaders are quiet. This was happening in somewhere in Ethiopia. I even talked about it, where Chinese go there to exploit the people and make money out of it. I personally went to the Ministry of Culture in China to help what take down that guy's channel. It was me. Even Chinese people took action. But in Africa, no one cared. How long are we going to sit down to be disrespected? I'm not a coward, but I love actions than words let's dive into today's episode so what is happening in guangzhou china at this very moment is that those who were forced or evicted from their houses and supposed to do a mandatory quarantine in the hotel are giving flowers and food is it interesting or deceiving because this is on national tv <laughs> Very comfortable. Very comfortable. We are very comfortable. Hey, hey. Don't forget to leave a comment and let me know what you think in the comment section. And don't forget to like this video. If you are new to the channel, do me a favor by subscribing to the channel and support the YouTube channel. 350,000 subscribers. Congratulations to me 
and you <laughs> yeah maya but hey don't forget to support the channel on patreon because these videos are not monetized i spend my whole time shoot edit and upload without earning anything on it this is how much i love you guys so don't forget to support the channel on patreon so you know what there's another news coming from china the chinese foreign ministry denied instances of discrimination against africans in the southern chinese city of guangzhou and called u.s accusation of mistreating of africans in the city an attempt to harm beijing's relations with african nations wow this is on cgtn i'm not making things up so china is blaming united states of what is happening in guangzhou china hey african leaders is it true please let us know if us is influencing what is happening um also just let me know what you think in the comment section so last week there's a video that went viral where black people were told not to enter mcdonald's i mean they were refused to enter mcdonald's i think most of you saw that video so mcdonald's china came to apologize today and they closed down the related restaurant that was involved this afternoon i got an information from one of the guys in quarantine he said they were supposed to do the nucleic acid test which they did it three times and today they came and what took their blood sample of which they don't know the reason why they are taking their blood sample i mean let us know if um covid19 test has something to do with blood sample in the comment section and also dr arikana sent a message to the president of the republic of china let's hear what doctor has to say to my fellow african diaspora a very good day to all of you my name is Ambassador Arikana Chihombori Kwao. Over the past couple of days, I've received many messages, emails, phone calls, and video clippings of the abuse that is being meted to our fellow African diaspora living in China. I've watched in horror Africans roaming the streets of China with their possessions after being evicted out of their homes simply because they're Africans. I've watched in horror Africans roaming the streets with their suitcases and at times with nothing at all, roaming the streets after being thrown out of their hotel rooms simply because they're Africans. I have watched in horror women carrying babies roaming the streets of China with nowhere to go after being thrown out of their homes simply because they're Africans. I've heard many stories of Africans who are married to Chinese being separated from their husbands or wives simply because they were Africans. I've heard stories about Africans being forced to take COVID-19 tests simply because they're Africans. In many cases, these individuals did not meet criteria for testing or they had been quarantined for the specified time period as mandated by the under-pandemic laws of China. Not once have I heard any complaints of any African disobeying the under-pandemic laws of China. Why is it then that Africans are being singled out and mistreated? This situation is not acceptable. It is wrong and it will not be tolerated. To President Xi, I say, while you have enjoyed good relationships with all the African leaders, it is precisely because of that that you should do the right thing. You are sitting in the big boy's chair and we are asking you 